Okay, I wanted to show you how I'm going to thread my machine here. Okay, now I'm out of regular thread, so I'm actually going to use a serger, and I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Okay, so now the first thing, you would normally have the thread right here, and then you would come across, and of course you've got two spots here. You've got this one here, and you've got this one here. When you go to this one, it only goes to the bobbin, just like it says here. When you come across here, this goes only to the bobbin. That's when you would change your uh, bobbin thread. But since I'm going to be sewing, I need to go behind here and I need to make sure it pulls through. Hopefully it does. Okay. Then of course, we go, just follow the arrow. Mine's getting caught up. Go down along this here. And you're gonna come back up, hook it up, and you've got here, go around this loop, you're gonna come back down, and then if you look right underneath of here, hmm, well, it's not going to get clear, but right here is a little hook. Just make sure it's behind that. Then you've got another hook that's right there. Should have had somebody record this for me. And then the next thing you do is you make sure, there goes my bobbin, that you thread it. Now mine is a leather needle. Wow, I did that looking through the phone. That's funny. Let me get my bobbin, wherever it's at. Hold on one second. And I drop it again. <laughs> my goodness. Uh. Okay, so you put your thread in here. Now you want it to go the opposite way. Normally, I would put it in this way and have the thread follow along this way, but this machine, you got to put it in the opposite way. So your thread is going to come across here and back around. Let's see here. Oh, now my thread is stuck because it got stuck before. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Now, they say that you can start with your thread. Oh, not right there. Coming right out of there. I say you can't because every time I have sewn with it starting right out of here, it's always caught up a few of my stitches. So I always pull it down, bring that thread right up under, take a little screwdriver or something, and now my thread is coming up through the needle plate and back out to this back here. I'm using a roller foot myself Okay, so now with our settings, I have on number one here, and I'm going to change it. That's your stitch width, that's your stitch length. Default, you know it's 2.2. I usually, for cotton, I use 2.8. For vinyl, I'll use 3.0, but if it's a really thick piece of vinyl, I go up to 3.5. So I'm going to sew a little bit and then I'll show you how long my stitches are.